Hello YouTube world, and to you David McDonough, uh, first off thank you and welcome to YouTube world. Um, this is a video for your Chucky giveaway with the four questions. I already placed my um, conjuring comment on the video. I literally just copied the review I had written on my Instagram review channel. Uh, big unks. Uh, okay, for the four questions. First question is Who is your favorite horror villain? Um, because I had the honor to meet Sid Haig. And he was a really cool guy, and I talked to him for a little bit. Um, I'm going to choose Captain Spaulding from The Devil's Rejects. Uh, I thought he did really good in that, and, um, but as a more recent close second to that, uh, I really liked what Richard Brake did, <clears throat> excuse me, in the movie 31 as Doomhead. It was funny, I was, uh, when I was tweeting about the, when I saw the movie, um, I said, that, that when he's like first being introduced and he turns his back to the camera and he starts punching himself in the face I was like I just heard this like the, the chant in my head from uh, the famous Muhammad Ali chant the champ is here the champ is here that's what I kind of when he was doing that I was like you know he was all getting all hyped up so that would be my top horror villain um, what part would I like to play in a horror movie? Um, is that like, do you mean like, like the part that of a movie that's already been, or like, are you talking about like if it was a real life situation? And you know, obviously, I'd want to be the survivor. You know, so I'd have that really great, awesome story to tell about what happened. Um, but if I could be in any horror movie and come out of it as the survivor I think I would choose Wolf Creek because that movie really because my, myself personally I'm, I'm more into the plausible horror movies I, like I enjoyed Conjuring it was okay but that's not like my like I like The Devil's Rejects uh, Wolf Creek and those types of movies where it's actually like real life possible uh, or so I would say either the survivor from the movie Wolf Creek I guess would be my choice uh, favorite horror themed toy as a child um, that was a hard one to think of because as a kid, I was mostly just into like uh, big wheels, and obviously when I got my bike with the training wheels and stuff, I was mostly about just going. I didn't have a lot of other toys, but I do remember at one point um, I was given like a, a shoebox full of Star Wars figures, and one of the figures in there was the Rancor. Uh, the thing that's in the pit that um, that uh, Luke Skywalker kills um, and I do remember that uh, my younger brother was uh, scared of the Rancor so because that's honestly the I don't recall ever having any of the other toys that could be considered horror themed um, and fourth question um, I lived in an apartment and I had three things happen while I lived in that apartment that always led me to believe that that apartment was haunted. Um, when I first moved out of my mother's house, you know, when I was like a 18, she gave me this little throw pillow, you know, you put it on your couch and you use it to lay down. And it said, it was embroidered on there, it said, um, God bless this mess. Because she was always complaining about how messy I was. Um, 
literally like within two or three days of moving into this apartment, that pillow just disappeared. Could never find it. Tore the whole apartment apart. Could not find that pillow anywhere. And literally it was like I left for work and it was sitting on the couch. Came home from work. Gone. Never saw it again. I lived in that apartment for about a little over two and a half years. And the week that I was moving out, literally the last day, because I took a couple vacation days off to help with my move, I came home from work on the last day that I worked, that I was living in that apartment, and I walked through my door, and that pillow was sitting in the middle of my couch. Literally, this pillow had disappeared for two and a half years and then just showed up like three days before I was moving out. The second thing that happened in that apartment was I had a queen-size bed, and the apartment bedrooms were kind of small. And um, I could only have one side table on the side of the bed, and then the other side of the bed was up against that wall. So on this little table, all that was on there, because it was a really small space, was a lamp and my alarm clock. And the plug for the alarm clock was the, the, the line went probably, you know, just like normal, like three feet or so up and plugged into the wall right there next to the bed. So one night I went to bed and I woke up the next morning. And I turned off my alarm clock. And, you know, just normally I just laid there a little bit, stretched out, and I saw something at the bottom of my vision that was kind of weird. So I was, like, kind of startled, and I looked up. And the alarm, I mean, the lamp that was on this table had been taken off the table, the wire wrapped around the base of the lamp, and it was sitting on the floor at the end of the bed. My bed was really low at the time. So I could just see the top of the lampshade. How it got there, no idea. But that would always freak me out. And the third thing that happened there that totally freaked me out was the way the apartment was set up was the living room was like, say, like right here. And there was a little doorway that led to the hallway because it was a two-bedroom apartment. Plus there was a bathroom down there, so it was a little hallway. And you go straight, and there's a bedroom, and you go down the hallway straight, that's the bathroom, and then the other bedroom's over here. So I'm laying on the couch over here watching the TV that's, like, to the right of the door. And I'm just laying there watching TV, I don't know, it's just like a Thursday night or something. It's probably around 10.30. And I know... I mean, this isn't like, oh, I kind of think, or I was dozing off, or blah, blah, blah. I know somebody ran from that hallway doorway through, like, the dining area and into the kitchen of my apartment. You know, and this wasn't like, a, you know, like I was dozing off and, oh, no, no. No, I was sitting there watching TV, and I was like, I know for a fact somebody just ran from there into my kitchen so much so that I jumped up and I had a little baseball bat that I kept near the couch and I had that bat and I went charging into my kitchen like I was going to beat the crap out of somebody and it wasn't anybody in my kitchen. So then I, you know, obviously I went through my whole apartment, turned on every light, looked everywhere under everything and there wasn't anybody to be seen anywhere. But I know somebody ran from that doorway into my kitchen. But, you know, there was no place for them to, like, escape out of my kitchen. So, it was obviously some sort of ghost or something. But it was, I mean, it was like, that, that place tripped me out. So, I hope that answered your four questions, David. Um... Good luck with your YouTube channel. I wish you the best of luck. Um, uh, thanks. Have a good one.